lift? Sure. Thanks. So, it's you. Yeah. Very kind of you, Bob. I imagine I don't need to ask what you're doing down here. I imagine not. Yeah, you know, I feel sorry for the champ. Have you talked to him? We had a chat just now. I wish you newspaper men would mind your own business. It is our business. Have you talked to him? No. Just seeing what the form looks like. He's on license. I can't do anything unless he does something. I'd say it's quite liable to do something. You see, he seems to think he didn't kill that fellow. Really? He's looking for two people to help him prove it. And if he finds them, I guess he'd try pretty hard to persuade them to help him. One's a chap by the name of Pusey. The other's a woman. Fade driver. That was it. You know, if he got Pusey or Fade driver into a dark corner one night, it wouldn't be surprising if he lost his head for a minute. Then we must try and see that that isn't allowed to happen. Good. You see, I've got to write about Davidson. And if anything did crop up that might be to his advantage, I'd like to be able to use it. Naturally. Oh, here's my pub. Well, ta-da. Thanks for the lift. Use your phone, please. They're headed upstream, sir. I'm afraid he's given me the slip. You clot! Sorry, that wasn't fair. You could hardly swim after him. He's headed for Gravesend, most likely. I've got the local police looking for Pusey. Get in there and see if they've found out anything. Fast car at once. What the devil are you doing here? Just doing my job, same as you. I mean here. Intelligent anticipation. If you want to find the cat, wait by the mouse hole. Only, unfortunately, the mouse isn't here. Where's he gone? I don't know. His wife knows, but she wouldn't tell me. I won't hold that against her. However, if she won't talk to the press, maybe she will to the law. Has it ever occurred to you that we represent the two great guardians of the public interest? We'll discuss that some other time. Yes, good. Good. good afternoon. Your husband? He's not here, I keep saying. He's gone off with another woman. I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> then you're the only nosy Parker in Gravesend who doesn't. He's deeply in love, he says. Love? And him going on 55 and a brain like scrambled egg. He hasn't done nothing wrong. He's not in trouble. No. But he may be in danger. Danger? Yes, that's why I'm here, to look after him. We do spend quite a lot of time looking after people as well as arresting them, you know. All right. It's on the other side of the town. 41, Pretoria Crescent. <laughs> Good. Another man will come here asking for your husband. He may give the name of Davidson, or he may give another name. I want you to tell him the same address that you've told me. You understand? Yes. I wish you'd go away. On behalf of our millions of readers, no. I'm a good mind to have you taken away. Obstructing the police in the execution of their duty? Nope. Loitering with intent to commit a felony? Certainly not. 
conduct whereby a breach of the peace is liable to be occasioned? I don't think so. 